This is the story of Roy O'Brien. He lives in an ordinary house on an ordinary street. The only trouble is, he doesn't look very ordinary. All Roy really wants is to fit in, but it's very hard to stay out of trouble when you're a cartoon. Roy! Today is no ordinary day at Sandiford Progressive Learning. Roy's school is about to be turned upside down. You read that? It's not exactly a page turner. Ah, Teaching Weekly. Someday they'll write about me in that. Oh, Teacher of the Month. Mr. Lightjoy, Blackboard Rebel. Listen to this. I want to change the school system from within. The old ways of teaching are dead. We must rebel. But, but progressive schools are the way forward. Imagine if we had someone like that working here. We could work wonders together. Yes, well, some of us have to actually teach. <laughs> he seems like a bit of a poser. Mr. Lucy has taken charge of Roy's art class for the morning. So, uh, once we have moved beyond the, uh, the paint application stage, we will start uh, utilising the follicle um, uh, uh, wigs. Hey, lads, check this out. <laughs> it's Hamel. <laughs> the class. <laughs> it won't stick. It won't stick. Um, OK. Um, uh, right. OK, Newton's first law states that every object will remain at rest unless compelled to change its state by the action of an external force. Um, meaning? I think we need Roy. Ready, Roy? Ready. Extra strong glue applied? Extra strong glue applied. All right. Now, we need you to use all your force to get that wig onto that head. Drum roll, please. Um, wh where's the wig? I don't know. <gasps> Roy! <laughs> what happened? He happened again. It was an accident, surely. This is the 15th accident this month. I will not take this lying down or standing up. I'm not some sort of clown. I will be taken seriously. Stop laughing at me! A nerve! <laughs> Right, that's it. I quit. Maybe you should try Mr. Perfect Pants from Teaching Weekly magazine. Jervis eagerly awaits Mr. Lightjoy for his interview. Will he replace Mr. Hammond? Oh, come in. Mr. Lightjoy. Oh, please, call me Jane. I'm sorry, Jane, I don't shake hands. Oh. It's a sign of one person's dominance over another. Right. I prefer to rub noses like the Fijians. I learned that while teaching underprivileged kids in Polynesia. Oh. Oh, yes. Right. So, I see here your first name is Josephine. Oh, 
Josephine Lightjoy. Well, that is an unusual first name. My parents called me Patrick, but I changed it as soon as I could. Oh. I don't believe in gender stereotyping people with names. Wow. But most people call me by my tribal Native American name, Golden Cloud. Golden Cloud Lightjoy. It was given to me after my time working as a volunteer teacher with the wonderful Cherokee Nation. Good people, good times. You're perfect for the school. Yes, you're perfect for the school. Exactly what it needs. You know what? I'm feeling the vibes as well. It's good. Good vibes, making my day. He has two heads. <laughs> and six arms. <laughs> No one could be worse than Hamo. Yeah, true. true yeah. Hi. I'm Light Joy. Don't do, mister. Homework is dead. Uh, is this a trick? <laughs> Whoa! A cartoon dude. I love the school already. That's a seriously cool look you have there, right? Roy! No tricks, Roy. No homework. No boring stuff. We're just gonna study whatever fascinates us. But hey, you know, if you're not feeling the vibe, that's cool. I'm out of here. But I'm sure you're gonna make me feel welcome here, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah! I massage dolphins. I know Icelandic. I'm Mr. Lightjoy. I'm the best teacher in the whole world. Everyone's so welcoming. And they get to teach a cartoon boy. You don't get more progressive than that. Ah, you must be the famous Mr. Lucy. Well, you look super tense, man. Um, you need to try some yoga. <laughs> oh, gluten. Not good, my man. You should listen to him. Did you know Mr. Lightjoy massaged sick baby dolphins <sighs> in, in Splash, Splash City? City? Yeah. Wow. I learned more from them baby dolphins in a week than I learned in all a university. Rice cakes? Well, where are all the chalky bickies? Throw them out. The school is now sugar free. You'll thank me later, my man. And so will your colon. Oh, colon! <laughs> These are your new chairs. Really? Sit! <laughs> oh, I think I'll stand. Desks and chairs are corporate anchors, tying young minds to old ideas. Anybody got any comic books, video games? Oh, yeah. Me, sir. Oh. Magnifico Man. Fabulous four and a half. Yeah. Oh, and you should really read this one, sir. Snot Boy and Unicorn Girl. <laughs> right. Put them in the box. What? You'll get them back during your holidays. <laughs> Comics and video games promote violence. But Stop Boy and Unicorn Girls only use their power for good luck. Here's a list of approved TV shows you can watch. The news. History shows and Mr. Booby's happy time. Oh, these are for four-year-olds. Mr. Booby is super positive. And I bet you didn't know I wrote the theme tune. Happy, happy sunshine shining down on me. Hello, Mr. Sunshine from all the birds and bees. Happy, 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 happy sunshine shining down on me. Poopy! In the name. The kids need to claim back the school environment as their own. Only then can they progress. Progress? 
me bum. Who is going to clean up all this mess? No one. It's art. Light your just band makeup and lip gloss. Abby and Sophie are about to start a full scale riot. Well, it's all in the name of progress. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he just replaced coffee with dandelion root tea. Says it's good for our creative flow. Oh. Mm. Mm. All in the name of progress, though. Mm. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, paper clips. Paper clips, man. So trapped. Help! Anyone? Hello? Help! Deco, pick up these filthy rubber bands and take them very, very far away. Yeah, sure. Oh, ever since I was a young child, I've had a fear of rubber bands. Take them away! No props, sure. And I'm loving what you're doing with the place. A <sighs> 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 full haul. I can get away with anything. I just tell Lightjoy I'm doing experimental theatre. <laughs> Such a pushover. Make sure it was looking like hands. <laughs> no, not just the best thing ever happened to us. These are I always now. What kings? <laughs> what have you done, Jane? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happened, you? Oh, Deco, you. Vague and water balloons. This place is falling apart. <gasps> I think I miss Hammond. <sighs> oh. It's not that bad, Shirley, is it? It's gone mad around here, miss. We're sitting on bouncy balls and meditating. We've learned nothing. I even miss maths. Well, maybe we just need a little bit of time to see the benefit of Mr. Lightjoy's changes. Can't we have Mr. Hammond back? Well, Roy, I can't just get rid of Mr. Lightjoy. So, you want Hammond back too? Yes. I mean, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll take that as a maybe. <sighs> Roy, it's not so simple. Say no more, miss. No. <sighs> Roy, that's not what I meant. Oh, I give up. Maybe Roy's right. Oh, no. Please don't tell me I miss Mr. Hammond. Oh. Oh. Mr. Hammond! You! I'm so glad to see you. How are you? Uh, I'm uh, great. Fantastic, actually. Yes, uh, leaving school was the best thing I ever did. Oh. Yes, I've time to finish my novel, One Man and His Cheese. And, oh, and I, I've been submitting my poetry to magazines. Plus, I, I've been seeing all of my friends. My social calendar is full. OK. Well, I'm glad to see you happy, I suppose. Yep. Happy. Sir? Hmm? I miss you. Bye, Roy. Bye. Oh. Oh, I've lost everything. I can't believe it. I even miss Roy. <laughs> 
is all my fault. I have to get Hammond back. He was terrible. He was crying. And he looked awful. And he smelled funny too. Ew. Well, even if Mr. Hammond wasn't sad, I'll still help you. We just have to get rid of Light Joy. No one messes with my lip gloss. I'm in. But how? He said he'll leave if it didn't work out. So we just have to make sure he's not welcome? Annoy him. Ruin his vibe. Anything to avoid another meditation class. <gasps> meditation! That's it! Niall, do you still have that brutal screaming mammoth album? Yeah, here. <laughs> Thanks. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> yep, that's the business. Can you burn a CD of it? Oh, Deadly. Let's go. We've got trouble. Just imagining it, Paul, there's nothing going on between Jane and Lightjoy. And besides. Besides, you're just as handsome and talented as he is. All right. Oh. My joy. Just oh, there. Just, okay. Isn't no, it? no, no, I'm good. I can do it myself, thank you. Spinach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, so far, how has the school been working out for you? Oh, I haven't felt so welcome since I rescued the chief son in Barneo. Mm, but you don't think that, you know, things have been moving a little too fast around here? No, Jane. It's all good in the hood. It's all cool in the school. How am I going to get rid of them? Light joys after rewriting all my recipes, even the veggie risotto. Now everything tastes like a mouldy old sock. Do you know, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but... Yeah. I miss Hammond too. Sorry ladies, but we couldn't help but over here. Have you heard of Operation Get Rid of Lightjoy? So, little birdie tells me you're planning to get rid of Mr. Lightjoy. What? Uh, no, I mean. I mean, keep me posted. Okay, hey, let's start the class with our meditation. Yes, uh, sir. I have a CD. I made it especially for the meditation. How wonderful. Brutal screaming mammoth, do your worst. What? <gasps> oh, this is perfect, Roy. What is it? For Mr. Lightjoy, our favorite teacher ever. Keep being you. I'm so glad I moved to this school. I wasn't sure I'd stay, but this seals it. I'm staying forever. Forget it, Roy. You'll never get rid of Lightjoy while I'm around. <coughs> hey, what's this stuff? They're just, they're just my mad star of the month award. Miss Jervis won the low trophies. So Mr. Hammond made these stars and I've won the last seven months. <sighs> what are you doing? Awards mean winning. There's no winners or losers in learning. But, but I studied harder than anyone. I got 99.99% .99 and all my tests, and I, 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 I... There's no I in Team Deco. But there is an M and there's an E. Oh. Stop. Count, count, count me in. I just gotta go. Uh, okay. And I know his one weakness. Classic bands! <laughs> okay, so 
What's the big plan? Are we kidnapping them and locking them in the car? But who's brilliant idea, Roy? We can knock them out with this. <laughs> Even better. This time, Lightjoy's gonna know for sure that he's not wanted here. <laughs> Give us back our comics. Free Snot Boy and Unicorn Girl. We're gonna put these all over his windshield. I made 50. That's it. That's your brilliant plan. Let's get rid of Lightjoy. Don't be stupid. Oh, sticky. Oh. P.S. Go away, Lightjoy. You're a poo-poo head. For the side windows. There's no way he'll stay after reading that. What age are you? Six? Oi, what happened to the elastic band plan? Oh, this is way better. Roy, you can't put these on the windshield. Why? Because this isn't his car. That is. We're oh. busted. It's Miss Jervis. Hide. Lightjoy, you're a poo-poo head? Roy O'Brien, how could you? I am so disappointed in you. I'm so sorry, miss. Ah, it's Mr. Lightjoy you should be apologising to, and you need to fetch his keys while the drain while you're at us. I'm sorry, sir. Mm -hmm. It's just, I didn't want Helen to leave. And you're not a poo-poo head. It's OK, Roy. Besides, poo-poo head is a famous Aztec king, yeah, so... Yeah, sorry, I'm just... Elastic Band Man! <laughs> Get away from me, you bendy, stretchy freak! Ah, Mr. Lightjoy! Nobody in this school is a freak! I know, I know. This goes against everything that I am. It's just that he's so bendy and stretchy, like... An elastic band! Okay, Mr. Lightjoy, I think we need to chill out and get you a chamomile tea. No, no, Jane! You can't talk me out of it. I'm leaving. What? Because of why? No, that's just him. The, give me the keys. No, Jane. This is unforgivable. I'm ashamed of my behaviour. I'll send you a postcard from India. I've a lot of work to do on myself. Wait. Thank you, Roy, for showing me that I'm not perfect. Yes. Knusha Hugo! All right, nothing to see here. Get back to class. Goodbye, Jen. Goodbye, Josephine. Goodbye, Josephine. It's working. Check. Okay, let's do this. Mm. Is it working? It's not in position yet. Hang on. Bingo. Miss, we all want Mr. Hammond back. 
Please. I'm sorry, Roy. I'd love to. But Mr. Hammond was in the wrong, so I can't ask him back. But as principal, I shall be the bigger person. If he asks me, I'll give him his job back. I hope he does. I know you and Mr. Hammond had a difficult relationship. You're a good person, Roy. This school needs you. I think I got enough. <coughs> oh, gross. Thanks for meeting me, sir. Well, I don't see what she could say that would make me change my mind. I have my pride, you know. <laughs> Just watch it. In the wrong. If he asks me, I'll give him his job back. I'm sorry. Mr. Hammond, I've had a difficult relationship. I'd love. If Mr. Hammond, a bigger person, asks me, this school needs Mr. Hammond. I need Mr. Hammond. Excellent. Right, Roy. <laughs> oh, um, why is that video so jumpy? Oh, oh. Me too, my sister dropped the camera. <laughs> <laughs> ah, coffee. I've missed you. Chucky Bicky, my sweet, mm. sweet friend. Uh, Jane. Miss Jervis, I am so sorry. I would love if you could give me my job back again. <laughs> Glad to have you back, Derek. Thank you, Jane. Oh. <laughs> 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 